what is what is the difference between like facet and what you're trying to build and the existing exchanges the thing is really what can differentiate people or sorry uh, uh, what can differentiate the exchanges are two things in our opinion one is the price at which people can buy uh, where this is where facet differs number two is the customer service and the the speed at which you can you know get your money send it back you know how the the back end of that exchange works so that you as a customer have a good experience and then the third thing and the way we differ ourselves not just from regional exchanges and local exchanges but global exchanges is our focus on tokenization as well right and taking real world assets and tokenizing them and offering them so the tesla charger for example was the first proof of concept that we did but our goal is to take real world assets that are appreciating value or that have some sort of revenue mm-hmm. stream that we can then offer to people as a uh, hedge okay. to traditional crypto or as another investment okay. opportunity that people can buy. So how, the the Tesla charger, just quickly, how did that happen? How did you think about it or did they approach you or how did it work? Um, no, so uh, I would love to say right now that Elon Musk approached us to do this, but that's not what happened. Uh, <laughs> so you we, have an open letter to Elon Musk on your website yeah, yeah. anyway. So we created a <laughs> okay. letter for, for him to, to hopefully, uh, hopefully look at as well. But no, um, and we believe that you know the future of investing will be focused on ESG and environmental focused first uh, products and, and and companies. And while we were doing our research, we 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 really thought about what would be the best asset to look into, and uh, you know we decided on Tesla, uh, and then looked at the whole ecosystem of Tesla, and then ended up figuring out that the Tesla supercharging network is something that we want to bring to Bahrain. So Bahrain doesn't currently have a uh, first of all Bahrain doesn't even have Teslas. Um, there are a few Teslas that people have imported. Uh, Tesla is going to enter Bahrain at some point, I believe, soon. Uh, but then the supercharging network also doesn't exist, right? So we wanted to spur that and uh, sort of um, create some inspiration for people to be able to do that. So uh, that was the reason for why we chose that asset um, or that that uh, that real world, uh, you know, thing that we wanted to tokenize. And um, yeah, and then we made it happen basically. So there are ten people that have the right to use it. And you have to have a token, mm-hmm. basically, to, to be able to to be able to use it.